Learn with Eddie. Come on, you've got this. Shoot. Amazing! You've ended up tied. We've had a great time playing princesses and dragons. Though I didn't expect the story to end the way it did, with you two playing basketball. <laughs> Usually, a knight would fight the dragon. What is it, Eddie? Do you want to change roles and be the knight? But who will be the dragon then? <laughs> Come on, let's play dress up again. <laughs> Eddie loves tales and stories, especially about princesses. <laughs> and what about you guys? What's your favorite story? You can tell us in the comments. <laughs> Great! I found the costume. I hope Eddie doesn't take much longer. What's that noise? Eddie? That's the most voracious dragon I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, Eddie, you're hungry now. We were waiting for you. If you eat too much, you won't fit in your coat of mail. Don't you know what it is? <laughs> Come on, we'll show you. The coat of mail is an item of clothing that middle-aged warriors would wear to protect themselves from their enemy's strikes. It's made out of metal rings. Do you think you could point it out? <laughs> That's your ski jacket. It'll protect you from the cold, but not from sword blows. Besides, I told you the coat of mail is made out of metal rings. Now you got it right, Eddie. I hope it fits you. How does it feel? What is it? It's a tad heavy, isn't it? <laughs> I told you it was made of metal. But look how shiny it is. Now we put on the knight tunic emblazoned with your order's crest. That's right, Eddie. Your knight order. It's like the warrior club you belong to. <laughs> no, not your basketball club, Eddie. Uh -huh. I mean the team you fight with. The knights that wear your same crest. <laughs> well done! This is it, see? It has your order's crest on it. Uh -huh. The order of the round stone dino knights. Wait, let's tighten it a bit. Pick a belt. A piece of rope? Don't be shabby, Eddie. Oh, I see. You were joking. <laughs> That's it. The belt is the right choice. Wait, Eddie. You can't fight barefoot. You have to pick footwear that is fit for the battlefield. Wow, that was fast. That's right! Fighting in boots makes more sense than fighting in flip-flops or heels. <laughs> All right, Eddie. Let's defeat the dragon. Or, well, let's play in the garden. <laughs> All right. Are you ready? <laughs> okay, then. Let's begin. Once upon a time, a beautiful princess lived in a faraway castle. <laughs> so funny! You look great in Eddie's costume! I'm going off script, sorry! She was a beautiful princess who lived happily in her castle. Until a fearsome dragon showed up one day. I said, a fearsome dragon showed up! You have to pay more attention, Eddie! <laughs> but where's your dragon costume? <laughs> we need a dragon that's slightly bigger and less adorable. <laughs> Do you mind if we take a break from the story so we can dress up Eddie? <laughs> In the meantime, you can start thinking of an ending for our story. And you too, guys! <laughs> what will happen in this story of the princess and the dragon? Tell us in the comments! Come on, Eddie. Let's have a look in your wardrobe. 
I think we have a dragon costume somewhere. <laughs> it's got to be one of these. But which one? This one? Okay, let's see. I don't know, Eddie. Dragons don't really have brown fur. And their tail doesn't end in a fluffy brush. I think this might be a lion costume. <laughs> that might be the one, yeah! <laughs> That's it, Teddy! You guessed it! <laughs> this one has green and yellow skin and a crest in the back. <laughs> but wait! <laughs> it's missing the horns! You can't be a dragon without horns! But don't worry! We'll make them for you! <laughs> Think, Eddie! What yellow item of clothing can we use for the dragon's head? <laughs> That's it! Your rain hat! Hmm, but it's too big though. Uh -huh. Well, just trim it so that it only covers your head. <laughs> Perfect! Can you think of anything we can use as horns? Ice cream cones? You're a genius, Eddie! We add a bit of glue and glue both horns to it. Oh. Though they don't really look like horns at all in that color, they might look better if we painted them red, like your paws. There! <laughs> it's turned out perfect, Teddy! <laughs> now we just have to paint your face, because it doesn't match the rest of your costume. <laughs> uh -huh. Let's see, what colors should we <laughs> use? This green will be perfect! It's the same shade as the rest of your costume! And now we use a darker shade of green to make your mighty nose stand out! That's where Dragonfire comes out of! Uh -huh. Now you're a fearsome dragon! <laughs> Should we finish the story, Eddie? <laughs> mm. <laughs> wow! I wasn't expecting this ending! Uh -huh. The princess beats the dragon in a basketball match. You're so imaginative. <laughs> I thought the knight in shiny armor would show up to fight the dragon. <laughs> what is it, Eddie? <laughs> Do you want to change roles and be the knight? <laughs> <laughs> All right then, let's dress you up again. <laughs> Hehehe. <laughs> 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 <laughs>